Um, I want to thank the selection committee and the alumni association. Um, I've gotten several honors in the last few years, but this is the only one where I've been grouped with the current presidential candidate, the uh, future likely majority or at least minority leader of the Senate, um, a current Supreme Court justice, and of course our most famous alumnus, uh, Judge Judy. <clears throat> the honor made me think back on my high school education and how much it impacted me. Um, <clears throat> more than anything else, I owe a lot to the extraordinary teachers I had while I was at Madison. And the fact that the school allowed them to a kind of flexibility that uh, unfortunately, as education becomes more, bu more bu bureaucratic, becomes more difficult to pull off. So I, I was a challenge for some of my teachers. Um, two weeks into my sophomore geometry class, the teacher called me up after class, said, I want you to bring a book to school, a novel or something else. I want you to sit in the back row and not take part in class because it is too intimidating for the students that every time I ask a question, your hand is up before I finish the question. <laughs> and it was then decided by the math department that probably 11th grade math was not be uh, something I couldn't learn easily on my own, and so I got to take the AP calculus class in my junior year and sort of the first really good class of group of friends I had was the year, one year ahead of me that I took this AP calculus class with. There's no question though, the teacher who had the greatest impact on me was Sam Morantz, who was a physics teacher. Uh, he actually had worked in industry, had retired in his mid fifties from an industrial job and came to teach high school. He told me that he thought for most students, and certainly for me, high school physics was a waste of time, even though he taught a lot of it, and I should go directly to the AP class. Um, at the time, he taught that class from one of the standard um, freshman physics books, Sears and Zemanski. There was both a non-calculus version and a calculus version. Of course, he taught from the non-calculus, but he said, you know a little calculus, we'll do the calculus version. And he really turned me on to physics. And even though in many ways, my heart is more a mathematician than a physicist, the fact that my degree is in physics and uh, that I've always had joint appointments uh, really is a result of Mr. Morantz's uh, impact on me. Uh, when I began to look into the possibility of colleges, there was no question there were only two reasonable choices for me, Caltech and MIT. Uh, little do I, did I know that I eventually would wind up at Caltech, but Mr. Morantz said to me, no, 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 you should go to Harvard. So I go back home, I tell, tell him, Mr. Morantz says I should go to Harvard. That's a rich man's school, you shouldn't go to Harvard. And in fact, she was partly right. 20% of my incoming class was from Exeter and Andover, from, right, whereas in you know, Madison, we were lucky to get one student in. So I go back to Mr. Morantz, my mother says, it's, that, tell her that's a Bubba Misa. So I would never have convinced my mother to let me apply to Harvard, but Mr. Morantz, you couldn't argue with, and uh, it's because of him that I wound up going. I was actually very surprised to get in because I only ranked number four in my class. They were, it was well known they never accepted more than one, the number one student in the class I expected to get in, but in their, for whatever reason, I think probably because of Mr. Morantz's letter, um, uh, Harvard accepted me and not him. Uh, I had some other fantastic teachers here. Let me just mention some names because there are probably people in the audience who say, oh yes, I remember him or her. So the famous Ms. Tannenbaum, who I think I heard mentioned already, uh, I hadn't realized she was here quite as long as she was because many years uh, Mr. Knapp, or Cap, I think it is, Mr. Welkowitz, who was retired, I had him his last year here, and Mr. Navon, 
And, you know, I just had a fantastic education here. And uh, I do not, for a moment, people were surprised, oh, didn't you go to Bronx High School of Science? There was never a question of going to Bronx High School of Science or Stuyvesant, because they were long schleps on the train. I did think about Brooklyn Tech, but I didn't want to have to do mechanical drawing, so I went to Madison, and it was a great decision. So let me thank Madison for the great experience it gave me. Thank you.